Alrighty, folks. Oh, hello. I'm a zoomed way in again. There we go. Hi. How are you? Um, if you're new here, my name's Dawn. Nice to meet you. How's life going for you? Um, if you guys would do me a big favor and uh, hit the like and subscribe button, I would appreciate it. I'm at nearly, uh, what was the number? Nearly 30,000. I'm at 28,000 something. I think that's what it was. Let me, let me take a peek. Excuse me. Turn on my phone here. Go to YouTube. Where do I go? Uh, 28,161. If I could get to 30, that would be awesome. Because, you know, you guys aren't subscribed. You, you, you really aren't. Uh, audience. Of my audience... Where's subscribers? Not subscribed. 48% of you are not subscribed. Come on, just push the button for me. I would appreciate it. I don't do that very often. I don't beg for views like so many people do. But I'm getting so close to that milestone. It would be really nice. Anyway, we're going to do another one from this Tangle speak box because I want to go through all of these. I'm probably not going to go through them all like straight in a row, but we will do uh, several. I'm going to do this one. That one is what feels right today. Today it says it's called Beats is the name of the pattern. Resonance is the card. Everything is vibration, so each person really does dance to the beat of his own drum. Oh, you guys can't see that. It's so glary. Um, residence means like attracts like. What are you attracting? Beats invites you to decide if you need to change your tune to attract more or less of something or someone into your life. Like attracts like. That, that that goes along with what I always say, right? Go out and do something nice for someone today. If you are going out and doing nice things for people, guess what? People do nice things for you, too. It's lovely. Oh, look. It's sort of a mandala-like thing. Cool. That's very cool. I'm going to enjoy this a lot, aren't I? Yes, I am. So, looks like we start with across right I I want to turn this down no that's not really helping okay that's the problem with these shiny cards that they're lovely but they're also glary so we're going to start with this cross like that and then we're going to put little curvy ends on them and then we're going to put an X there and then we're going to make these little curved bits along these posts like that, like this. And then we're going to make a thicker line around the outside to a circle. And then we're going to make this line. And then we're going to make these little fronds or whatever that is to make it look like this be honest, this looks like a circle here. I think I would put this line and then this circle and then fill these in like that to make it more symmetrical because that's what it looks like they did there rather than what this is here. That looks different than that. So I think I'm going to go more this way. I really like this with the little fringe thingy sticking out. Let's see what we do with it. I may end up doing it exactly this way or I may do something different I don't know let's do it on a 
colored background. Uh, let's do it on a square one. This looks like this is what I have left. I have that one. I have that one. I have that one. And I have this one. I feel like this one has this sort of central. That would be good. Because the other ones are not square. They're rectangular. Okay, let's do it on this one. And let's draw it in. I'm really leaning toward drawing it in silver. But I don't think I have a silver that's thin enough. I have a silver, but I don't think it's thin enough. Yeah, that's really thick. I don't want to do that. I thought I had a silver one of these uniballs, but maybe I used it up. Oh, no. Is that it? Back here? Oh, it's hiding in the back of my drawer. Oh, I can't get it out. For some reason, it's sideways in the back of my drawer. Look at there. I don't know how much pen ink is left in there. It doesn't look like there's much, but we're going to give that a try. Just barely a bit down in there. We're going to give this a try, see if it works. Because I'm really in the mood for silver. Let's see. Paper towel to wipe this on. Okay, let's, let's get it started on this end. Okay, that's working. Okay. That looks good. So let's... Just, do I want them in the corners? I think I want them in the corners. I'm going to go this way. Oh, maybe it's not got enough ink to draw. Oh, bummer. Doesn't have enough ink to draw, does it? Doesn't seem to. I thought it was working. But apparently, it is not. Oh, bummer. Okay. That's the end of that one. <sighs> I don't really want to draw in black today for some reason. Let's draw in... Excuse me. I'm drawing this kind of green. Try again. Yeah, that'll work. Can you see that? It's kind of hard to see. But it will work. Like this. And like this. First step. Second step is curving those. And. And over here, we're going to make an X. I'm going to do it this way, like this. And then I'm going to make these come like this this like ropes
that. I think that looks cool. And I should have drawn this X in pencil so that I could erase these little bits here, but it's all right. I'm going to, I've done this kind of pattern before. And I'll just come in here and I'll just shade and you'll, you'll, it'll go away. You won't really see them. They really don't have it looking like that, but that's just what feels right for today. A bit like, um, I don't know, there's a pattern that does something like this, and I don't remember the name of it with these like rings around Huggins or something. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to just color that in, leaving that middle bit clear. And then you won't notice that there is that line there from the See the difference? That and that. Now the, that pole, those lines don't, they just disappear. These lines here, they just disappear. And then I may come in that part with white. Matter of fact, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to come in that part with white and really make it shiny. Like these are some kind of stacked rings of some sort. What's this one called? Beats. B E A T Z. Could I draw the whole pattern first before I came in here and did this coloring? Oh, I could, but I'm feeling like doing this part first for some reason. This one gets some like this. This one gets some like this. Just like that. Okay, there we go. Z? Perfect. Perfecto. And then the next thing is to go from here there with a nice curve like so and then it's
it's got it nice and fat. So I'm going to go ahead and come back in here. And make it nice and fat. Just like a zoo. All right, let's do a question since I'm, this is fairly simple. If you were sentenced to spend the rest of your life in a prison cell with one person, you know who would you take? I would take my husband. And if I wasn't allowed to take my husband, I would take my BFF. That's pretty simple. And then all of a sudden, all these other people's names came into my head. My son, my mom, my sister. There's all sorts of people I could easily spend the rest of my life with in a small confined area. If you could pick one famous person to be your neighbor, who would you have next door to you? Mr. Rogers. Won't you be my neighbor? Mr. Rogers, I would love you to be my neighbor. Bob Ross, would you be my neighbor? That would mean that paparazzi would also be my neighbor. I would hate that. Maybe I need a different kind of famous. Um, I need a famous person that people don't know about <laughs> or don't follow in social media or in any media. Maybe a famous scientist. They seem to be left alone. Nobody follows the scientist around to see who their latest fashion sense or paramour or anything is. Yeah, perhaps that would be a better idea. I need more lines in here. Sort of a lotus, isn't it? It's interesting. I like it. Green might have been a weird choice for this pattern, but I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, yeah I, I'm really liking this, what's happening here. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to sign it. Put that, then I'm gonna do a little shading. Oh, I can hit you back. Can I reach? Oh, I can reach with my pen. No, I'm not coloring on my back. I've got my pen capped. Don't you hate when you get an itch on your back? Um, I wanna put a little bit of shading, but I know, I know that the shading is horrible on this watercolor paper with graphite. So 
So I think I'm going to grab my gray. This is a Faber-Castell Pit Pens in shades of gray. Um, I get the lightest gray, which is a, is this a warm gray? This is a warm gray. Warm gray is good. Okay. I'm going to use a warm gray to do just a little bit of shading on this sort of stick. Just like that. Perhaps going this way. All the way down one side. Yeah. Okay. All the way down this side. Like that. And long lows. And then this side, I think. I think this particular color is starting to run out. I use this light color a lot don't use any of the others or the dark colors are way too dark for me um I want to just lightly this drying out marker is actually working pretty well but it is definitely dry Either that or it's having an issue. Oh, it might be having an... Oh, look it. It's starting to smear. See that? It's starting to smear. It's having an issue with a combination of either the watercolors or my green pen. Interesting. All right. Well, we're going to stop with that. It's, it's enough. It's enough of a shadow. I think I want a shadow out here though. Maybe I'll clean off the tip of my brush. This is definitely dry. It's got almost no color left. Yeah, that's definitely dry. Hmm. Well, I'm going to put it back in its case, and then I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put all these pens in upside down in their case. Maybe it's just that the ink has all flowed to the bottom, and they need to be at their tip. Because usually you store your pens flat. Store your pens like this, not like that, and not like that. You want to store them like that to keep the ink in the barrel evenly across. But these particular pens have been just standing in their case next to my drawer. That could be it. So I'm going to try that before I chuck it. And now I want a little bit of highlight with the light pen. Make sure my pen is working. Seems to be flowing. working? Why is nothing working for me today? Okay, let's try that again. I just want that a little bit brighter. You see that it's brighter? You can see that it's brighter better than I can see that it's brighter. That's interesting. Come on. 
keep drawing. Don't give up on me now. There's one thing I'm finding on these watercolor pages is that some of my media doesn't work very well on it. all the way around? Yes, I did. Okay. And then perhaps a little highlight in here. Can you even see that? Not particularly. But now I need to do it on all of them because I did it on one of them. That'll work. That will work. Alrighty, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. That would really help me out. Give me a push me over the edge to the next round number. 30,000 is good. 50,000 would be better because you guys are all out there. You're watching. I know you're watching because I can see the analytics. You're watching, but you're not subscribing. Don't you like me? Anyway, I will see you guys later. Oh, look, my husband filled the bird feeders outside my window of my studio. The birds are over there, out there having a great old day. All right, you have a great old day. I will see you on the next video. I'm going to try to record one more today before it gets too hot out here. Maybe. We'll see. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.